Okay, today we're gonna try to save about 500 bucks. Um, about $200 for uh, the neutral safety switch and the rest will be like labor. Anyway, um, I don't know if uh, it happened to you guys when you try to start the car and all you get is this. The lights dim, nothing happens, right? And then you just wiggle the transmission uh, gear shift like so a few times sometimes you have to hold it and do it at the same time there you go so you know you hold the the, sh the gear shift and uh, the car starts so it's not magic it's uh, a switch that's located in the engine by the transmission and uh, basically it doesn't allow you to start a car unless it's your neutral on park you know and uh, dealership was about 254 dollars a regular parts store about 181 dollar and i'm just gonna rebuild it so i'm gonna show you how you guys can do it and you can save a ton of money okay so First up, I'm going to show you where it's at. Okay. So. It's located right. If you see the stick shift, and then you see the hose over here. Let's see if I can point it out. It's kind of hard. And now it's hot, the engine. So I don't want to get burned. But I'll get something to point it out. Let's see. Okay, so I get this probe, but this over here that I'm touching right now, you know, this is basically the, the cabling, the linkage that goes from this, the gear shift to the transmission. That's a transmission and that's a neutral safety switch. So basically, right now I'm going to have to remove the air filter the battery then there's a mounting so I can move the um, cruise control right here so once I move all this stuff out of the way I got easy access to the switch over there and I'm gonna take it out it's not very hard to remove so I'll get to work I'll move all this stuff and then I'll show you guys later okay so now that we removed everything in from in front Okay, now you can see that switch a little bit better. Let's see if I can get you some light. Right there without burning myself. Okay, so now you got this connector over here. Then you need to unplug the electric connector on the top. Then you got a 12 millimeter bolt over here. And a two 10 millimeter bolts on the side. And there should be over here some retainers for the for the bolt over here and a 7 8 bolt right there that needs to come out as well. So the muscle dirt over there that you can't see right now it's let's see get your closer angle. So that's a switch right there on the, I mean the, the connector that I had to remove. And this dirt thing over here that's a neutral safety switch. That's a linkage that goes to the transmission. So I'm gonna remove that now. I'll show you once I remove it. Okay, so here we go. This is the neutral safety switch. So the connector goes on the top that we took out. Man, it's a bit gunked up. And I wonder how it looks like inside, but. Yeah, this is $181, the cheapest price. That's a lock wash. And then a uh, 7 8 nut. The holes, the things in there. This is like a, this doesn't have to be tight. It's just squeezed down to the transmission link. So it, it doesn't come apart. Anyway, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to show you after I open it. Okay, so 
those are the contacts and you can see it's all gunked up and this one sits inside here and you know sits inside here and moves this way and brushes against that as you can see there's brushes in here they're supposed to go in and out but they're stuck they're stuck all the way in so they don't touch anything over there you know so we basically need to clean it all up um i could going to sandpaper a little bit with a very small, very fine sign paper and put some grease and put it back on. So let me clean it up. I'll show you how it looks like after I clean it up and I sand it. Okay, as you can see, now it's very clean. I mean, it's not like brand new, but, you know, you can get an idea how this is going to look. See, these are the contacts. Now you can see through it. And these are those brushes I was talking about. They were stuck. They're not going up and down. What I need to do now is going to use this very fine sand paper and I'm going to sand it all up. I'm going to show you how it looks like after I sand it. Okay, as you can see now, you can see the reflection. Huh? It's all nice and clean. So those contacts are going to make contact now. And this is how the brushes look like too. So, I don't know if I can do it one-handed, but these little tiny springs, they need to go in here. It's kind of hard to do it one-handed, tell you that. Okay, so the springs go in there. One there. Then one to the other one. Okay, then, and then these ones, like these, they go back on top of it. Okay, and if you remember before, they were stuck and they were not going up and down. Well, that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to be able to go up and down. So, that's going to look much better. Okay. Now, let's put it together. Now, basically, I'm going to put some grease over here. And I forgot the electric grease, dilated grease, something like that. But any grease will do it. Just don't leave it dry. You know. So, electric grease, dilated grease is the best to use. I believe I have some. Let me check. Well... I didn't have the dilated grease, but I have white grease, it's lithium based, so it's not petroleum based, it's lithium based grease. Uh, this will prevent rust and uh, it's waterproof and all that, so it will do the job anyway. You know, you just don't want to leave it dry. And you're not going to put that much anyway, just to keep it loose. You know, I'll show you. A one-handed job. Okay, this is how it looks like. It looks like preparation age. You're just gonna put it like this on top of the contacts. Like so. And wherever the moving parts are. Even inside here. Okay. And I'll put some on the back of it. That. Just to keep it all lubricated. Keep the shaft lubricated too. Okay. 
okay so this is all loop and it's ready to go so what you do you put this one in first you put the gasket and then you dump this one on top so those don't fall apart all right let me put this thing together and i'll show you how it looks like when it's done so okay we are done it doesn't look new but I saved two hundred and fifty dollars or one hundred and eighty one if you buy an aftermarket one plus whatever labor a mechanic will charge you. So now we're just gonna put it on and see how it works. It may not work right away uh, as soon as you put it on. You see this oval over here? Uh, one of the bolt goes there and the other one goes there. This is adjustable, so you kinda have to like a timing on a distributor. You kinda have to get the the center part you know so it should start in park and in neutral and not in any other gear so let's see how it goes okay we're done now cast us in neutral and check the end light on the dashboard is on okay off put it on park the p light is on car starts now let's put it on reverse and let's check the backup lights uh, make sure when you do that that your emergency brake is on because if you're gonna get out of the car <coughs> it'll be and look at that the reverse lights are on so that concludes our repair of the car for today Everything is working. Oh, huh? emergency brake is hard to get it off now. I pull it kind of hard. So, well, I'm gonna need two hands. So, I'm gonna hang up the uh, you know the conversation, I'm gonna upload it on YouTube, and hopefully, somebody can get a good use of it and save some money. You know, mechanics are kind of cool so, out there, so I'm gonna have to save money somehow. All right, bye, Luca out.